Hey friends, today we are checking into the Disneyland Hotel. I am so excited. I've always wanted to stay here and we're going to give you the grand tour. I'm going to show you my room all around the resort and all of its amazing amenities. Then we're going to hop the monorail and stop into the park and hang out there for a little bit and then come back and have dinner at Goofy's Kitchen and maybe a quick trip to Trader Sam's. Anywho, let's go do this. And here it is, the Disneyland Hotel. I am so excited to explore around this resort and then also give you guys the grand tour. Like I said, it's always been a dream of mine to stay here and we are doing it. We're living our dreams. I'm so excited to ride the Disneyland monorail because this monorail actually takes you from downtown Disney right into the park. Like it drops you off inside Disneyland and it's really cool because it's walking distance from the Disneyland Hotel so you have that amazing transportation and I'm just, I'm just excited for the day in general. <laughs> There are three different places you can stay at the Disneyland Resort. You have Disney's Paradise Pier, you have Disney's Grand Californian, and then you have the Disneyland Hotel, which I think is probably the most famous one. And fun fact, it's been around since the 1960s, but Disney hasn't officially owned it until 1988. We are all checked in and our room isn't ready yet, so I figured I'd give you guys a look around. And I love it in here. As soon as you walk in, you have this amazing map of Disneyland itself. And it's really, really fancy because it has projections of Tinkerbell on there. And I just love it. This is really, really cute. There are three different towers at the Disneyland Hotel. There's a fantasy tower, a frontier tower, and an adventure tower, kind of like the lands in the in Magic Kingdom or in Disneyland. And I'm excited to see which tower I'm gonna be staying at. I think I'm gonna look for a map so I can show you guys and give you like an overview of the whole entire resort at once. Here is a look at the directory. As you can see, fantasy tower, adventure tower, frontier tower, and then you've got Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar, and then they have a pool with the monorail water slide there's a whole lot happening in here and I'm just like so giddy and excited the whole lobby is just full of Disney history and it is so amazing the things that they have in here are basically treasures or just priceless heirlooms and wow it's like really it's like sensory overload for me because I'm a big Disney history kind of guy I'm sure there's probably a big glare because of the glass, but just take a look in here of all the old Mickeys and Donalds and Disneyland stuff. It's like, it's my dream. Like I would have something like this in my house. In fact, I should start putting together something like this in my house. And then right in the center here is a big Sleeping Beauty castle. They have these little murals set up through the decades showing the Disneyland Hotel. This is from the 70s and 80s. And just look at how beautiful it was then. I mean, I love the 70s and 80s era of Disney. And this is amazing. They had a nice little fountain out front that kind of looked like World of Color. Maybe that was the inspiration of the start of World of Color, who knows? And it's just so cool looking. As you're walking around the hallways, they're playing like classic Disney music and it's really just hitting me in the feels. Like I'm getting like the tingles, you know? I also love how everything is like Disneyland blue. I don't know if that's a color, but that's the color I think of. And they also have an actual Autotopia ride vehicle in here. Like right here, inside the hotel itself. And it gives you a little look back uh, on the history of Autotopia. But isn't that the coolest ever? I decided to come outside and give you guys a tour of the pool area and also maybe get a cup of coffee. I would love a cup of coffee. The main lobby is located in the Fantasy Tower, which is where we were just at. That, I think, is the Adventure Tower there. And then across the way is the Frontier Tower. And I think we're going to be staying in Adventure Tower. I'm not too sure. Here is the gigantic pool. Like I said, they have a monorail slide over here. I can't wait to get up there and show you. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to get a coffee at the coffee house. We're gonna make our way up here. This is where the dining area is and Trader Sam's. And look at it, isn't it so beautiful walking through here? I love it, like it is really so magical. I feel like I'm in another, like, like I, I feel like I'm somewhere else, like in a tropical hideaway. <gasps> there it is, there's the monorail slide. 
I don't do water slides that often, but I don't think I can resist this one. Look at that. Isn't it so beautiful? Those are the water slides, the monorails themselves, and I love it. This is amazing. This resort is giving me like the contemporary Polynesian vibe. So like if the contemporary and the Polynesian came together, this would be it. And I love it. I think I'm going to stick around and get a bite to eat. I think I'm gonna grab some coffee here. This is also where the Enchanted Tiki Bar is, and I can't wait to check that out, maybe a little bit later on tonight. Here is a look at the menu, and they got some really interesting stuff here. I noticed on the back they've got some panko crusted long beans, some sweet and spicy chicken rings, but they have a poo poo platter, which is a little bit of everything, like an appetizer sampler. So I think I'm gonna go with the poo poo platter. Like I said, I'm basically just waiting until my room's ready. I checked out of my other hotel at like 10 a.m. and came directly here and it was right next to each other. I stayed at the Westin and um, it's like 11.30 so like technically check-in isn't until 3. So I'm hoping that we get an early check-in and if it's not ready by the time we get done here, I think we're going to head over to Disneyland and go in the park for a little bit. And here is the poo poo platter. I cannot wait to dive into these panko crusted long beans. Then we've got some delicious macaroni salad, sweet and spicy wings, and then the uh, pot stickers over here. This all looks amazing, right up my alley. Here we go. Those are the best, wow. These are so amazing. Oh, I love it. Now, I have to dive into the wings or these first. I only give you two of these. So I think we're going to go here. I literally feel like I'm at the Polynesian Resort right now. Like, this is so awesome. But, like, not at the Polynesian. Like, I don't know. It's, like, it's, it's, it's trippy. It's messing with my mind a lot. Much too good. Now let's get a wing in here. Let's get a little wingy. <laughs> I hope they're not too spicy. It says sweet and spicy and they're a little sticky. They're good. <laughs> the poo poo platter for a win, I tell ya. And it was only $22, so you get a little bit of everything. My favorite has to be these though. These are so amazing. The panko crusted long beans. Oh, I would, I'm gonna be dreaming about these. All right, we need to get moving along or I can get stuck there all day long. Like, I could just chill out there. But I do want to come back and go to Trader Sam's because they have their own Trader Sam's on the West Coast. And uh, I can't wait to check it out. Right there it is. Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar. That's going to be so much fun. But that's going to be later on. Much, much later on. It got a little bit chilly out. I mean, the weather is beautiful. The only thing is, is I'm so dry. Like, I am so dry. It's definitely a big change from Florida humidity. And uh, now I think we're going to check out our room. If it's not ready, we're going to Disneyland. Like, isn't that cool to say? We're going to go to Disneyland. All right, looks like the room is not ready yet. It's still super early though. Like I said, check-ins at three o'clock and it's only 12. So I think we're gonna go hop on the Disneyland monorail and go in the park for a little bit. But I'm excited to show you the room. I'm excited to see the room for myself as well. So as soon as we get that text, I think we're gonna come right back. I mean, if you're staying at the Disneyland Hotel, I feel like you need to ride the monorail into Disneyland. So I, I, it's like one of those must-dos. And it's literally like a five minute walk right on into downtown Disney. This monorail is a lot different than the Walt Disney World monorail. First, not everybody gets to ride the monorail. Only people that have a theme park ticket and reservation for that day because it takes you inside the park. So even like people that don't have theme park tickets, they can't ride the monorail. And it's a completely different monorail. And I'm so excited to show you. So as soon as you show your ticket, you come in, you actually have to go up this way to the monorail loading station. It looks so cool. Here comes the monorail. I love it so much. That is just way too cool. 
This monorail actually has windows and I think you can sit in the front. Honestly, I love these monorails. I mean, they're a little bit tinier and the sitting is different, but it is so cool. Oh boy, this is so exciting for me. <laughs> Look at the pretty colors. Looks like we're coming into Disneyland right now, and you can see the outskirts of Disneyland. It's just like a normal city of Anaheim. Isn't that crazy? You have a city theme park. There's the Matterhorn right there. This is such a fun monorail ride. And just like that, we're in Disneyland. Just like that. Now that we made it to Disneyland, I want to go ride the Alice in Wonderland ride. I want to do the storybook boats. Also, the Matterhorn because I have to do the other side of the Matterhorn. A lot of people in the comment section told me I need to do both sides, so that's a must. Honestly, in my first Disneyland video, everyone kept on saying about the other side of the Matterhorn bobsleds. And they also said I need to try the Disneyland Churro because apparently the Disneyland Churro is like a hundred times better than Walt Disney World's uh, Churro. So we're going to have to get a Churro. And might as well get the Churro now, $5. And then they also have the Main Street Electrical Parade light bulb zipper. So I have to get that. And then also the Main Street Electrical Electric Sprinkle Dip for the Churro. I'm going all in. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I have to. Here is the Main Street Electrical Parade light bulb. I had to get it though, $17.50 for this and it came with a drink, so I got a vitamin water. And then here's the dip and I'm excited to try it. It's like an orange buttercream and they're making a fresh churro for me. I like churros, but they're not like my preferred park snack. I'd much rather get like a Mickey pretzel or a premium bar. So like everyone's saying that the churros are amazing here, the fact that I'm getting a fresh one is gonna make it like 10 times better. As I'm waiting for my churro, Mary and Bert are just walking around. Look at this. This is actually amazing to me. Hi Mary, how Bert? Hi guys. I love the hats you have today. Thank you, it's fedorable. I Bye-bye. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Enjoy your day, all right? <laughs> I get so giddy whenever I see characters walking around, but that's like something you will never see in Orlando. I mean, it's not like Disney World wouldn't want to do that. I just don't think they can do it. And I just love it. Mary and, <laughs> Mary and Bert were amazing. And now I got my fresh churro. Look at this. It looks good. It's hot. It's a hot churro. And... Uh, I'm gonna try it first without the uh, buttercream, the electric stuff, because I wanna try just the plain churro. So here we go, my first uh, Disneyland churro. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Now we're gonna have to try this Main Street electrical dip. Ooh, it kinda reminds me of Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos, you guys remember those? Oh yeah, look at that. Not a lot, just a little bit. Hmm. It's very orange, very orange. The orange is a little bit overpowering for me. Like nobody wants cinnamon on their orange, you know what I mean? If it was just regular vanilla frosting, I think that would have been amazing. Or like, you know, confetti, like cake batter, something like that, but too much with the orange. I'll just stick to the regular churro for now. But I can concur, that is the best churro I think I've ever had. I don't know if it's because it was immediately like served hot, uh, but man, that was amazing. And that's coming from somebody who doesn't really even like churros that much. I mean, I like them, but like I said, there's a lot better snacks in the park, and that was amazing. Disney World's churros, I feel like, are kind of stale. They're not soft, and uh, they don't have as much 
maybe cinnamon sugar on it. Like I, I, I kind of feel like that's the way, but this, it was almost like, like just dissolving in my mouth. Now that we've taken care of the official churro business, I think it's time to go ride a ride. And I'm thinking maybe we should go ride the Alice in Wonderland ride and not the teacups because this is an Alice in Wonderland ride, but I'm talking about the actual Alice in Wonderland ride. This is a dark ride that actually goes outside. And look, you can see it on the top there. And I love it. I, I've been so excited and it's one I haven't gotten to do yet. This ride doesn't offer a lightning lane, so usually it's a long wait, but the ride went down and now it's back up. Oh boy. Thank you. Oh boy, here we go. This is so cool. <laughs> I love it. This is amazing. This is so awesome. I love it. I love the idea of an indoor outdoor dark ride. This is great. And look at the views of Matterhorn. This actually might be one of my favorite rides ever. Like this is wow. We're heading back in now. <laughs> and we made it. I seriously love this ride so much. Like that was amazing. Now I think I'm gonna make my way over to Adventureland and maybe get a Dole Whip. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling a Dole Whip. I feel like I have to do all the classic Disneyland things. You don't know, get a Disneyland churro, a Disneyland Dole Whip. I just gotta be in that Disneyland vacation mode. It is really cool that you can get Dole Whip inside the uh, queue for the Enchanted Tiki Room. So like you can get a Dole Whip while you're waiting, like not on the outside, like right in it. We're Nathan? Yep. Oh, there it is, the delicious Dole Whip. Oh yeah. Well, thank you. Dole Whip does the body good. 
It's melting so quick though. But look at that goodness. Ooh. Now that the Dole Whip business is taken care of, I made my way over to Frontierland and I found something that is pretty interesting or amazing, especially if you guys have been watching the videos for a while. This means a lot to me. I just ended up wandering into Westward Ho Trading Company and take a look at this. You guys are gonna recognize this. I am so excited. They have the Cowpuncher badge. Excellent. Now it's time to hop back on the monorail and make our way back on over to the Disneyland Hotel. Travel from Tomorrowland to Downtown Disney and back. Here comes our monorail. And just like that, our room is ready. So we get to go up and I'll give you the grand tour. And uh, I'm excited to get to unpack and check everything out. We're making our way right on over to the Adventure Tower. Adventureland, I love it. And we got a premium downtown Disney view. So I'm excited to see what that's like. Well, that is so cool, look at that. And they also have some concept from the Jungle Cruise in here, like the elephants and a giraffe. I don't even think there was a giraffe in the Jungle Cruise. That's pretty fancy. Oh wow, I'm loving everything inside the Adventure Tower. Walt Disney in the Tiki Room. You have this nice little area over here with the Jungle Cruise. This is really, really nice. And then they have an outdoor like lobby that's kind of like a tropical like hideaway. Look at this. We're gonna actually go out real quick. That's pretty. Right? This is really, really cool. All right, let's hop on the elevator and go all the way up. We are on the eighth floor? Eighth floor, yeah. We're going all the way up. We're on the eighth floor. There we go. There's 11 floors inside the towers. And, ooh, wow, I like it in here. This is really, really fancy. I like as soon as you get off the elevator, it's like a little adventure land in here, a little hardwood floors and then the Jungle Cruise right here. That's really awesome. Look at the skipper. Take a look at the cool carpet as we walk down the hallway. It's a small world. Isn't that so amazing? And our room is 2653 right here. And I'm gonna show you guys the inside. Wait till you see it, it's beautiful. I already went in and I turned everything on, but I love it. Look at the firework carpet. I love it in here. It is so magical. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, right? And then you get another picture right here of Walt and the castle. Two beds, and there's little Mickeys on the beds themselves. Oh boy, this is really, really cool. Everything just looks so beautiful in here. We got Disney on demand, little Disneyland hotel condiment kits. Fancy, comes with a Keurig. Nice little desk there. I like this a lot. Because we're in the Adventure Tower, a little picture of the Jungle Cruise. And then over here we have the bathroom. And I love the bathroom, like this is so, this is really fancy. The tree house right here. Here's the bathroom. Look at little Mickey hands. I love it. No stand up shower, got a little tubby tub. But still, it's very, very nice. You got a separate door for the bathroom or the, the toilet there. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, but take a look at the faucet handles also. That is amazing and neat and ready. This is so cool. Lots of H2O products. They're all coming home with me and I love it. I really love it in here. Across the hall, you got plenty of uh, Storage space, a nice little closet there. Not enough that you can sleep in, but still pretty nice. Ooh, you're coming home with me. Thank you. <laughs> I saved the best for last, and I'm gonna show you guys that at the end, but it is so magical. And I wanna show you the view. The view 
is questionable because it is a premium downtown Disney view. Now, premium, but there is some construction and construction is going to happen. Things are going to change and I'm sure at one time it was amazing, but right now, not so much. Now, I do have to say, it's pretty amazing to be able to look out your window and see the Matterhorn and Galaxy's Edge and Splash Mountain, but I think this is the downtown Disney view that they were talking about, and uh, now it's just dirt, rocks, and cranes because they're doing a lot of construction they're building stuff here but on the other side over by paradise pier you can see uh the cal oh i was about to say california screaming you can see the incredible coaster and the mickey fun wheel i mean it's still a very beautiful view but uh right now at this moment i wouldn't say it's premium you know oh and also i just noticed that there's little mickeys in the carpets as well you see that that's pretty fancy but to show you guys what I think is the best feature of this whole entire hotel, I have to shut the curtains and the lights off because it is so, so magical. As you can see, you have this beautiful Sleeping Beauty castle right above your head as you sleep at night. But it is so much more magical once you flip this little switch. I am going to have this on all night long. Look at that. This is beautiful. I kind of just want to take a nap. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is so nice and the music doesn't play all night long. But the fireworks stay on I believe. And this is just really cozy. I like it. I'm also now just realizing we got little hidden Mickeys here as well. Look at that. Honestly though, I have to say I really do love the room. Like it is really, really impressive. Everything from the beds, to the carpets, to the lamps, to the fireworks, to the castles. It's a nice room. Now that I'm all checked in, I think we're gonna head down to Trader Sam's, get ourselves a little drink, unwind a little bit and also meet up with some friends but I'm loving it I'm so excited and we have dinner yet at Goofy's Kitchen here at the Disneyland Hotel and that's a character dining I think buffet so there's a lot lot still to come but here we are Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar and we're going inside look at these doors oh I'm so excited huh? look at this Oh, well look at you two. Oh, fancy, here. fancy seeing you here, huh? <laughs> they have a couple drinks on the menu here that aren't in Florida, so I'm definitely gonna steer towards those ones. But also I noticed it's a little bit tinier in here, but more bar space, and I like that. <laughs> be mine <laughs> I decided on getting the chef crack oh look at I like this a lot this is cool and I'm buying the mug too oh no I shrunk yeah I shrunk it I sunk it there is actually a lot of drinks on here that are different from Orlando they got the sea monsters embrace the shipwreck on the rocks that's what I actually got and it's cool because I got it and it has like a little Trader Sam's mug. And that's Maker's Mark bourbon and a lot of other good stuff. They have the piranha pool over here. I like it. These all look really interesting. We're definitely going to be back here more than once. I just love how fun it is in this bar. Isn't it so cool? It's like the perfect little tropical hideaway. <laughs> we got a cheers. Drink. Sure Empty drink. Oh. You'll get a sip out of that. Tiki cheers. Tiki cheers. And here's my little tiki mug. I'm gonna keep this now. It's coming home with me. Oh, I like the drink too. Oh, it's a Krakatoa. Oh. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Oh look at all. Oh, oh. But wait, where is she? We didn't anger her. While I'm here, I want to try some of the Trader Sam's food, and they have some shrimp on the menu, so I think I'm going all in on the shrimp. Here it is, tempura fried shrimp. Look at these little ditties. They look so good. And I asked for the sauce on the side because I wasn't too sure what it was, but I'm excited. Here we go. If it's anything like the poo poo platter, I'm gonna love them. Oh, yeah. This is so good. The batter is perfect, and I love it. I love me a little shrimp. A little shrimp on the Barbie. All right, we spent enough time in Trader Sam's, and you can kind of get lost in there and lose a whole entire day. It is so fun, but I got to try two uh, drinks that were just for here, and I'm happy, and I'm walking away with a mug. Seriously though, that was absolutely amazing in there. And I like when we came out, you can like sit outside, so it's not just inside. And uh, look, they have the fire torches going, or the tiki torches, and then some live music as well. Now we have made our way back up to the room. We're gonna get changed and uh, head to dinner at Goofy's Kitchen. All right, we're all changed and it's time to eat. We're gonna head down to Goofy's Kitchen, but I can't stop staring at this headboard. I just love it so much. I am so excited for Goofy's Kitchen. I am starving right now. And I know you guys seen me eat a lot on this video already, but it started at like, I think I started the day at 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. and it's almost 8 o'clock at night, so it's all day, all day, you know? And I really wanted to show off the restaurants here at the Disneyland Hotel, and Goofy's Kitchen is right up there. Character dining, buffet, everything that I love. All right, and here it is, Goofy's Kitchen. Oh, I am so excited. This is a full buffet, and ooh, they actually uh, let you go back in the kitchen and meet Goofy. We get to meet the chef before we have dinner. That's the way it should always be. Looks like Goofy's the head chef, Minnie's the pastry chef, oh, Pluto's the sous chef, and then Chip and Dale are the servers. There he is, chef. Chef Goofy, how are ya? Yeah? I'm excited to eat, I'm very, I'm very hungry, and I hear you've uh, put together an amazing menu. Yeah? All right, this is good. Well, I, am I gonna see you in there? Yeah, oh, oh, oh I'm excited, are you gonna do a little dance? Okay, cool, all right. Well, let's get some food. <laughs> wow, Goofy is awesome. And uh, we're at our table now. As soon as you sit down, they give you a little Goofy's kitchen button. I'm gonna be wearing that. And then, oh, we have some specialty drinks here. Pluto's Popsicle, the Chippendale, Ooh, that sounds actually really good. Light up lemonade and the fruit chiller. I already put my button on. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what's on the menu. We've got some soy rizzo succotash, some sesame chicken, some pot roast, some hookah with shrimp and Thai curry, and then we've got some rice right here, but it looks like they're taking away for a second. Then we got a carving station. It's got sirloin on it, a roasted turkey breast, that's like a whole turkey right there, pork and dooley, and then some British bangers. Oh, wow, that's actually really fancy. Then we've got some seasoned vegetables. We've got pesto primavera, garlic mashed potatoes, barbecue pork ribs, chicken. Oh, wow, there's a, there's a lot here actually. We have some soup over here, chicken tortilla soup, and some tomato florentine. And then we've got some cold selections too, like shrimp cocktail, smoked salmon, vegetables, Caesar salad, ambrosia salad. They have a lot of offerings, including a little pizza station. Look at this, we've got Philly cheesesteak pizza, pepperoni, and the classic cheese. And then we even have dessert pizza too. 
Yeah, a peanut butter and jelly pizza and a hazelnut s'mores pizza. Oh wait, it keeps on going. We've got macaroni and cheese, popcorn shrimp, chicken nuggets. Ooh, some fresh chicken nuggets coming out right now. Some spring rolls, mini taco nachos, and corn on the cob. All right, we got our first plate, but it looks like the characters are coming out right now. My first plate is made, and I'm just gonna try a little bit of everything. I'm not gonna show everything, but we'll go over it, and I'll talk what like, I like and what I didn't like. I'm probably gonna like everything, though. Oh, look. Ooh. <laughs> oh, chef. <laughs> Sous Chef Pluto! Yeah! Oh, thanks, Minnie! <laughs> this is so much fun. Okay, so I tried a couple of items, and some of the things is actually really, really good. The sucker cash is phenomenal. Has a little spice to it, though, and the ribs are good, but now I want to go to the carving station. You know, I want to get the sirloin, and I want to try the sausage and the turkey, all the good stuff. All right, I grabbed a little bit of everything up there. A little bit of the sirloin, some of the turkey. They have three different types of, like, sausages. They have a veal brat, they have a Polish one, and, uh, yeah, just going to give them all a little taste test. Let's see which one this one is here. Oh yeah, that's Anduli right there. I like it. That's a very good sausage. Ooh, ooh, there's a little kick there. Ooh. Oh yeah, a little bit on the afterwards. I'll have to look at the sign up there, but this one right here is my favorite. Definitely has some spice to it though. Now we gotta try the pizza. A little pepperoni pizza, look at that. It's actually a uh, good undercarriage. Not too shabby at all. Wow. That's pretty good pizza. Especially for like, 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 you know what I mean? You, you, you know what I mean. So far, I have to say, I think my favorite thing is probably the turkey. The turkey is phenomenal, and the, the succotash is really good. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, it's not that bad. It's pretty good food. It's not like the best food out there, but it's a, it's a good, it's a, it's a good character meal. You know what I mean? I do have to say, out of the whole entire buffet, I am really impressed with the dessert section. They have so many desserts. It's it's like legit, probably the biggest dessert buffet I've ever seen. We got chocolate cake, cinnamon bun, French vanilla cookie pudding, cookies, macaroons. We've got lemon pound cake, another cake right here, cupcakes, lemon bars, apple strudel, blondies, tiramisu, some more macaroons. They have creme brulee over here. Look at creme brulee. They've got some kind of macaroon jello. Like honestly, I'm like wow. And then they have fresh fruit. They have apples, cantaloupe, pineapple, strawberry yogurt, like tons of stuff. Like I'm, I'm really shocked. And then they also have a build your own Sunday section with some soft serve right here and uh, a whole bunch of different toppings. Honestly, that is a huge selection of desserts. Sorry I didn't go into like full detail with everything. I tried to show all the food, but mainly I did like little samples of everything. And the buffet, I think it cost 55, maybe 59? Oh, 55 dollars. So it's kind of like the regular buffets back up in uh, Orlando. Uh, but I liked it, it was a little fun here. All right, now I am full. <laughs> 
it was very good. It was a fun atmosphere, and it kind of gives me the Chef Mickey vibes. Like I said, the food isn't like the best food, but I really like the atmosphere. I love Goofy. I love the fact that Goofy is the main character. Like, there's no Mickey Mouse here, even though I love Mickey, but it's nice to see somebody else, you know, get their own little restaurant and be like the, the head chef, I guess. And uh, now uh, we have to make our way back on up to the uh, room. And now we are back to the room. Got to turn those on. Perfect. And uh, I think it's time to go to bed. It's been an amazing, fun day today. I've had so much fun, and I still got a couple days left here in Disney, so I'm gonna continue on making some videos, and I hope you guys enjoy. I mean, this has been a dream come true for me. This whole entire vacation is exactly, I wouldn't want it any other way, honestly. Everything has just been amazing, and uh, I look forward to waking up tomorrow in the Disneyland Hotel. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Good night.